going to be my first impressions on the Bark River Knives Bushcrafter. So a few of you guys, or some of you guys that follow my social media, know um, that I actually broke my Aurora's tip a little bit. So I sent it back to uh, Bark River, and it's been over a month, but they finally got this knife to me. And it's, it's a pretty good knife, so I'm going to be doing my first impressions on this knife. Um, I'll go over some of the specifications. I don't remember a whole lot of the technical specs for this knife, so um, sorry I, if I don't know any of the lengths. Or sorry, lengths. Um, but to start off, this is 0.14 of an inch thick, which means it's just a little bit over uh, an eighth of an inch. So it's it's pretty good as far as what most bushcrafting knives are coming out to be as far as thickness goes. Um, it stacks up with all of them. Uh, the handle, I just got regular black micarta. Uh, I was kind of hoping this would be more grippy than the wood, but unfortunately, as you guys can probably see by the light just shining off this thing, it is a very polished, it's a very polished micarta. And that's kind of unfortunate because there really is no traction. And there's even less traction um, with gloves on. There is extremely little traction with this knife with gloves on. Anyways, I don't usually use knives with gloves on anyways, so it's not too big of a problem. So other specs are this is CPM 3V, as you can see. This is the first knife I've ever had in CPM 3V, so I'm not sure how it'll perform. I do know this is a tool steel converted over to powdered metal. So if it's anything like CPM D2, it should be extremely wear resistant and have excellent edge retention. It is a convex Scandi uh, grind. You can see it, it's really nicely tapered into that grind. You can barely see the transition line other than right here. Um, but it, it is really nice convex down. There's not much of a shoulder. I mean, there obviously has to be a shoulder, but it's a very smoothed over shoulder, unlike most Scandi ground knives. Um, so that's pretty... So other than that, um, I don't really know the blade length and the overall length too well. Um, I know the general length. I believe the uh, edge itself is 3 point something. It's, it's like 3.8. I believe the overall length is 8 point something. It's, it's about an inch less. I believe it's 8.6. So it's, it's around about an inch less than the Aurora, but it's about 0.9 of an inch or 9 tenths of an inch less than the Aurora. So, so um, other than those specs, um, like I said, it's about 8.6 inches in overall length. Um, I don't know the width on it. It's about probably an inch just from what it looks like. Uh, the handle is, I don't know how long the handle is. It's whatever, uh, like 3.8 subtracted from the 8.6. But here is the, the handle's ergonomics. This is something that I really do like about um, Bark River is I think they do excellent ergonomics. The grip sucks, but the ergonomics is very nice on this knife. It is a Coke bottle styled um, ergonomics. So basically it's, it's rather thick here, and then it really has an extreme taper, as you can see as it gets to here. This would be kind of the bottleneck um, for it. So it has a rather extreme taper up here and then kind of wides back out like a bottle mouth. So I really do like the ergonomics. If they could make the grip better on these knives or make them more grippy, these knives, as far as their handles would go, would be absolute wins. Um, but they, they do have uh, really good um, ergonomics. And also, a quick thing to add, I did get the non-jimped version, or I chose no jimping. On this knife, you can get this with jimping. This one specifically does not have it. And my main reasoning for that is if you use a knife to craft for any long period of time, um, jimping will rip up your thumb or whatever finger you have up there. It just generally um, rips it up and makes it very uncomfortable. So that's why I chose no jimping. I, I have no idea what their jimping version looks like. I just know I generally don't like jimping on my knives. Uh, if you noticed on the Aurora, I had no jimping for the same reason. So anyways, 